Hello everyone, this is Afsar Ali and welcome back to the continuation of WebDriver IO video tutorial. So in the previous uh, video, we cover a simple login scenario. Okay, in this tutorial, we'll be uh, using uh, dollar and dollar dollar. So that means it's uh, dollar means it's a browser dot element and uh, double dollar is browser dot elements like in selenium uh, like driver dot find element and driver dot find elements we'll see that how to use those and the second one we'll be covering is run test from npm script uh, we'll talk about this in this uh, tutorial okay so okay let's get started okay so to use uh, dollar and dollar dollar i'm just uh, referring this uh, website toolskiway.com uh, automation practice table so what we'll be doing in this is uh, first of all i'll find the element uh, find the table using uh, dollar that is uh, browser dot element once i get the element of this table i'll go through uh, each column Okay, each row and column, and I'll find uh, the text. I'll uh, find the text using dollar dollar. That is browser dot elements. Okay, so let's uh, get started. So if I go here in the feature file, I have created one table operation dot feature file. If you see, uh, I have written performing a table operation. So what I'm going to do here is in the background, I'm writing. I'm on the table page, so that means I'm on this page. Then after that, a uh, scenario I have written, extract column text from a table. Actually, I'll be using this structure column. So I'll get the text from Burj Khalifa and uh, Clock Tower, Hotel, Taipei, Finance Center. So this text I'll be retrieving using uh, browser.elements or dollar dollar. Okay. And yeah, and then I'll print those. Um, uh, the, those thing, those text. Okay, so this one is a feature file, and similarly, I need to create one step definition file for this text as well, right? So I have created one uh, table operation dot step def file. So it, there is nothing inside it. So what I can do, I can just uh, quickly write import a given. when then okay uh, from cucumber right then after that what i can write is given and i can write like this then dollar like this then and it write the function so it's a skeleton of uh, cucumber js okay uh, then i'll copy the text from here i'm on the page so i'll go to the step definition here i'll just paste it so that's it then i need to write browser sorry browser browser dot url and in here i'd be giving the url of this particular site okay so now uh, this one is done uh, the second step is uh, i need to write for uh, others like when and then uh, statements as well similarly i can just copy and paste uh, those given statement and i'll just change accordingly fine and i can write when and this is then I'll just quickly go to here and just copy this thing. Okay, so for the second, and I'll just remove this from here. 
and I'll remove this one from here as well. Then we'll see uh, how we can do. Okay, so I'm on the uh, this table uh, this table page. Now I need to find uh, the element for this uh, table. Okay, so let me just insp inspect quickly. So what I can do is let me just inspect quickly uh, this one. So I'll get a find element first. Then I'll be doing find elements within that. Okay, so till here I got the table and the body. So let me just find I have one table. So that means I got the whole table area, this one. Okay, so what I'll be doing here is let's go and find that element. So I can write browser dot element or I can write this driver dot dollar. So this is same as element. So now I got the element of table. I can save it in a variable. So this element, this is the whole table. Okay, so till all the highlighted section is a my element. So within that, I need to go inside the tr, then tr, if I write tr, sorry, if I write tr, you can see the four, four elements uh, present. One, two, three, four. So after that, I need the first uh, column only to write. Okay, so for that, I can write th. So in here, you can see only four elements visible. So I'll be getting the text for these four uh, columns, uh, sorry, uh, four rows column, okay, the first column. Uh, that's fine, so let's uh, see how we can do. So I got the element, the table element. From the table element, what I can write is dollar dollar, okay? So within that, what I can write is this tr and th. It's a relative x path, right? I got the element, then within that element, I can traverse. Okay. tr and th. So, what it will do, this whole element, within this whole element, it will go inside this tr, th. Okay, sorry, the first one, first column. And it will, uh, okay, so that's fine. We got the element, each element, sorry. Okay, we got the element. Now what we'll be doing, we'll get the text for each, okay? So for getting the text, we need to write some code for getting the text. So we cannot write directly get text here, right? So if we write get text, it will throw some error. So what we need to do is say array list kind of, because the return type would be a find elements, right? In Java, we see uh, its return type is list of element, right? So here also it, it will um, uh, return a list of elements. So for that, we need to write uh, array list, okay? Or uh, array kind of, then once we uh, have the array, we can look through those, that array and we can get uh, element text, right? So we'll see how we can do that. Okay, to, uh, to look through those elements, uh, what we need to do is I'll be using map function for this, okay? So dot map, within that, I'll be writing function, and okay so in here i'll be passing element so now uh, i got the map within that i'll be traversing through each element it's kind of uh, looping those element okay so then what i can do is element dot get text so this one will loop through 
all the element present suppose i have five uh, element five row elements of this and it will loop through each one by one and and it will get the text of each okay so if i can do something console dot log so if i write console dot log i can print the text of element sorry fine so if i uh, write like this i can print uh, each of element i can write some text as well okay i can write text from a column table column okay so each text i can uh, write over here and just print it uh, let's run it i will see uh, how th this thing is being printed okay so what i can do i can just uh, quickly uh, go to node module then dot bin then dot wdio the same thing that we did yesterday conf dot js okay so if i try to run it what it will do it will go to that page then it will read the element and text and it closes right so if you see in here text from table column is financial center taipei uh, clock tower hotel and Burj Khalifa, the same thing here is present Burj Khalifa, Club Tower, Hotel, Taipei, Finance Center. So this thing is being printed already here, right? And yeah, if we want to save it in some kind of array, what I can do is I can just declare one variable here where I can say a uh, text, okay, uh, text from, uh, table okay it's a array i can declare the array then once i have this array declared what i can do here is i can just put the text one by one so it will just put the thing here then i can print this table i can access this table anywhere and it's uh, reusable it's, okay so what i can do console dot log you can say something called something like uh, all text from table column okay i can print simply like this and if i run now i'll see how it is okay so if i go here uh, all text right if you can find all text from this should be here okay uh, seems it's not uh, printed over here uh, i think i did some mistake somewhere uh, this one text from table text from table oh sorry here i need to write the push right instead of put so let's see if it is running or not okay it'll open the browser and then it will close the browser. So now if we see all text from table column, uh, it's like Burj Khalifa, Clock Tower Hotel, Taipei, 101 and Final Cell. So we can uh, get all the text in a uh, array, right? So yeah, it's pretty cool. We can reuse anywhere this uh, array, okay? And the second thing that we gonna discuss is about a run test from npm script so each time if you see here i write node modules then i write uh, dot bean then i write 
something like this wdio then wdio.conf.js so it's pretty uh, not good right so what i can do there is a simple way i can uh, use some shortcut for each time while while i'll be running so for that i need to go to package.json if you see here there is something called scripts okay so in the scripts i can write something like um i run uh, something called my demo test or maybe test test is already there so let's say reuse that here what i can do i'll just copy the same thing like from node module bin till here then wdio config js so to run this from our command line what i need to do is let me delete this then npm run so now i'll be running with the npm npm then you need to write a run then the script name whatever we have provided over here npm run test if i write like this it will run same web driver io config file right so it's a pretty cool thing and yeah we don't need to write each time the long uh, like node module then bin then wdio okay and in case of if you are using a windows machine sometime this might not work so in that case you need to write node okay so yeah then it will work fine for you for me it's fine uh, from node modules it will work in mac machines okay okay thank you very much guys and i'll be pasting this code uh, in in my video description and if you have any questions anything you want to know uh, you can comment uh, in the comment section thanks thanks a lot guys and have a good day